bleh, bleh, bleh. I have trouble listening. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I have wax in my ear. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I heard you like playing games, Tiltray. How about this one called Comic Control? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? I did that one to myself. So, my editor will put 20 seconds on the clock. Me, my actions only. 20 seconds. Ready, go. I received a news statement. I took the previous video down because I am happy with this news statement. I stand by every action that I took. If you remove yourself from a volatile situation and it goes off anyways, you have done your part. We both agree that it's over. I have enough leftover time to wish you all a happy Thursday evening. I thank you for the overwhelming support, and I just want to play games! No more common control expert mode though, please. Thank you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that is the point. No need to comment on it. And if you can't handle that, I will strike you down myself. I, regardless of where I see you, I will strike you down myself, I promise. Yes, everyone that I removed was on my side, but you are missing the point. <laughs> I do feel it irresponsible to not say that much, but seriously, just, just make like Elsa, man. Let it go. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I played Kingdom Hearts 3 recently. That is my excuse. If you want to subscribe for that, I totally understand. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. Last time, we recruited daughter. Daughter of Keaton. And today, we're probably going to pick up Soleil. I, is that even how you say her name? I actually don't know that it is. But I'm just going to call her Soleil because that's all I can say. I don't know. I don't know how you would pronounce it. S-O-L-E-I-L? -E so, Soleil? Soleil. Soleil. Anyways, once again, there are, of course, several amazing comments. And I think I am going to actually start throwing them up. This is just going to be a handful of them. If you're not here, that doesn't mean I didn't read your comment or appreciate your comment or find something funny with your comment. It's just <laughs> time, man. Time. That's the only reason. The potato says, regular reminder that Azura is a terrible person. Yep, thank you. I had almost forgotten what with her deep realm shenanigans and not telling anybody anything. But thank you, I, I, <laughs> I'm glad that we could clarify on that point. Lucy Grimes says, Diltre, you're going to lose a lot of brain cells if you keep thinking about how fate works. Or where it goes in the rest of the FE universe. It's best to just ignore it and keep playing. Yep, agreed. Agreed. That's my new mentality going forward, for sure. Yeah, boy, aggro brings up that... First of all, I didn't really realize that New Mystery had misleading tile sets because he says there's misleading tile placement, referring to the fact that those woods were bullshit in the last map. And he also says, though, that the boss we faced on the previous map was a paired-up sorcerer with Nosferatu. Okay, so follow me on this. He then goes on to say that the boss has the vengeance skill, which he does. And then he points out that Nosferatu can't activate chance-based offensive skills. And since he doesn't have any other tome, that, that leads to some interesting questions, don't you think? It makes me really believe that at one point or another, Nosferatu is probably exactly like it was in Awakening. And oh, thank God they changed it. Oh, thank God they changed it. Could you imagine a Fire Emblem Fates where Odin is a really good unit? I know, I don't think that any of us want that. So thank God they made the right call, changed their minds at the last minute. Oh, jeez. I'm putting this one in just for the savageness of the reply. I don't really, I don't have any feelings on this one way or the other. <laughs> but oh man, Emperor Emblem. You guys thought I was a savage. Oh lord. Valori, he says Valori is a good daughter. She really loves her daddy and I do not mean Keaton. No, steamy. <laughs> and, and then one word. One word is all it takes. Suicidal fluff becomes in no. <laughs> There are a few different comments as well on the concept of a Fire Emblem Showdown type thing. And, I don't know, I just, I guess I'm some kind of Pokemon nerd or something like that, but I can't help but wonder where everybody would fall. We got this one up here who says, Corrin would be banned because Ninja Gorin is filthy. I don't know if he'd be banned. I don't know if he would be. He'd probably be suspect tested. Alright, first of all, for anybody who has no idea what I'm talking about, there is a website called PokemonShowdown.com. Let's you build any kind of team and battle other people like that with uh, with Pokemon, right? There are certain tiers set up, okay? And you can only use Pokemon that fall within or below that tier. So if there's some Pokemon that has like 50% usage, 
for example. Because that, that's how they base these tiers, right? The more a Pokemon is used, the higher a tier it is. So that you're only fighting the best of the best with the best of the best. And you still have the option to use... You still would have the option to use lesser mods and whatnot. Okay, so... The best of the best face the best of the best, but you can still use whatever you want. As long as they're not better than the current tier. And it's decided by usage, which I think would be... That would be, like, so perfect for, like, Fire Emblem Heroes, right? Because they must have that data. They must know how much each character is used, so... If you wanted to roll up with a meme team, they could make it so that you only run into other meme teams. They have the ability. I'm so sure they can do this. And that's how it should be, in my opinion. But at any rate, if we're going to go by usage, here's what I think. He says Corrin would be banned. I don't think Corrin would be banned. I think that they would get suspect tested, which means the community would get together and decide on whether or not they should be banned. Camilla and Ryoma to anything goes? I don't know about that. I think Camilla is basically Landorus, right? She'd be like... So Landorus is the Pokemon that is statistically likely to appear on 50% of all competitive teams. Just throwing that number out there. Ryoma? I don't know. I don't know how good he would be in PvP. Benny untiered? Mm, I say he's like NU. I say he's like NU. Which is like three tiers down from where Camilla would be, basically. There's only really four official tiers for, like, Pokemon Showdown. But I, I think you could probably get away with those four with Fire Emblem as well, right? Because you would have up in OU, which is, like, the highest tier. You would have, like, Camilla, Corin, Xander. Below that, you would have underused. That'd be, like, your Leos, your Releases. That sort of thing. Your RU would be, like, Keaton. Keaton seems like he would fit in RU pretty well. Effie, people like that. And you would be people that nobody would use on their team, basically. And that'd be like Benny, Mozu, people like that. And then below that is actually an unofficial tier called PU. And uh, I, I say Odin is a shoe in for that one, man. <laughs> I can't imagine a competitive Fates PvP. Where Odin is sweet, you know what I mean? I don't know, I just... Maybe maybe I'm being a nerd about nothing, but I think that would be cool to see something like that. And it, they can do it, though! They can do it! I will say that somebody also brought up the point that... From what I gathered based on what you guys were saying, there's really no reason to approach. That seemed to be the general sentiment. And I still would wager that... The skilled player usually wins. But I don't know that to be 100% true, I suppose. Oh, yeah, Midori would be banned, by the way. In this scenario, Midori is banned, without a doubt. <laughs> Just based on everything that I know, she's got to go. She is broken as hell. Anyways, Paralog, 21, Bright Smile. Soleil, I think. <laughs> Whoever this is, Laszlo's daughter repels a bandit attack while on watch. The defeated bandits return, and in much larger numbers, a tough battle lies ahead. We'll see about all that. Hopefully she's faster than dang old Laszlo. I did pass her aptitude. I kind of question that, though, honestly. I would say that almost anything else would be better because I've noticed that she doesn't get the aptitude boost from her initial 20 levels, right? I imagine that she gets the aptitude boost when I use the Offspring Seal, which is why I'm leaving that on her to begin with. But I checked her stats before and after aptitude, and they were exactly the same. So that's a little bit disappointing. I thought I was being slick, but no! Mercenary. We really pulverized those dancers back there, so late. Nice work. Nice work. We chased off those bandits. Did you see him run? <laughs> yippee, yippee, yippee! I, I, what, what's she trying to say? Yipe, yipe, yipe! Tails between their legs, dirty dogs. And who's the best town watch in this or any other world? Us, that's who. Wait up! Wait up! What's that about yippee, yippee, yippee? Mm -hmm. What? Yipe, 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 yipe. Uh, I don't know. Hmm? Back for more? <laughs> we didn't run. We were just calling some friends to this little party. Uh, what? <laughs> no, sorry, the doors are closed. I'm gonna need you to excuse yourself. <sighs> Fighters and mages, what? No, no, no. This is just the cutscene, right? They're gonna scale themselves up, surely. Man, there's too many of them. No way we can take them all on. Come on! Come on, turn that frown upside down. Know what you, know what you have then? A smile! That's what my father taught me. Okay, that's all well and good, but a smile is not going to protect me from this axe. Oh. Well. 
If you can't smile, stand on your head. That'll turn your frown upside down. <laughs> hey, what a crime. Let's see if you're still smiling once my friends get the best of you. Man, attack! Bring it on. Exactly. Tell him so late. Oh. Huh, I guess the report was false. Seems pretty calm here to me. That's fine by me. One night off for coming to the rescue. Perfect. Maybe we can get a little rest and relaxation while we're here. Hey! Maybe listen some girls. Up. Hey, shut up about that. Listen up. Trouble's brewing. The town watch chased off some bandits, but they returned with friends. And more are coming. This town's about to be sacked. <clears throat> what? Then we've got to get in there and help. <sighs> yes, let's. The town watch is in way over their heads. Though it's said they have a skilled mercenary leading them. She's also got the happiest band of men I've ever seen. They're all smiles. Hmm, hmm I wonder who she is. All smiles, you say? Uh-oh. It can't be. Soleil. Or Soleil, if you prefer. Yes. Yes, that's her name. So you know this girl. I can't believe she'd dare come to such a dread place as this. No. You don't know my daughter. She doesn't get the chills easily. What? What? Soleil's your daughter? But isn't your child off in her deep realm? Well, well she should be. But Salil is her own woman. Oh my god, I'm going back and forth. Help. Like a force of nature. She's gathered a band of do-gooders around her. She's just like that. But Salil and her men shouldn't be here. These bandits mean business. <gasps> Wait, Laszlo. Are you sure that Salil is your daughter? Salil. <laughs> we can't just run in. It could be some sort of trap. Not likely. We got this. So this map is pretty interesting. I saw a lot of people say that this is... One of their favorite kid map, uh, if not their favorite kid map, period. So we got Zerkers, the boss down here. So I did look at this a little bit, and I do know that there's reinforcements. I don't think that we can beat the map before the reinforcements. I was thinking about it, and maybe, maybe there would have been some way if I could, like, slingshot Elise to be up here on, like, turn two, and then down here by turn four. But no, I, I can't see that happening, honestly. So we're going to have to beat every enemy, basically. Hero's pretty dangerous, got 28 speed at this point, armor slayers. These mages are what I'm really worried about, and they're they're like always paired up with these one range guys, so it's very hard to send one character who can do it all, you know what I mean? I mean, Leo can do it all. Leo can do it all. But he's one guy, and he can only be in one place at a time, and I think I'm going to send him to the northwest, because that seems to make some sense to me. Lots of two range up here, berserkers that he can take out on his way through. Uh, Camilla, though. What I want her to do is ferry the slow one over to his gift, who is right here. Yeah, there's no way the aptitude takes effect first. It, it, she, it just can't. Otherwise, why would her stats be this bad? When she promotes, she's going to be fine, I have no doubt. But still, man. She is going to get Axe Breaker, though, and Soul, because I'm going to turn her into a hero. Just because we don't have any heroes, really. So why not, man? Got to get that flavor. All right, this right here. Wait, hold up. All right, this right here, for sure this time, this is our way. We're gonna do it right here. I don't know. This is a pretty fun map, though. We gotta be quick, though. We can't let Soleil or her men be overrun. You do get more rewards for each of these soldiers that survives. You get a men's staff if one lives, a physics staff if two lives, some kind of seal, I think, if three live, and then a Draco shield if all four lives. So we need to get that. Just for my satisfaction, really. I knew it. That's Soleil over there, all right. Ugh, this town looks half-ravaged already. These bandits are no fools. I don't know how so late her friends staved them off for the first time. But we're gonna have to figure out something to save them all. And this town. This is gonna get ugly fast. I don't know about all that. Ah, good. So it is actually gonna point out this rubble. There are piles of rubble around town. These may be useful. Select grab to pick up rubble. To drop it, select set. And then select the spot where you want to put it out. And you can do that in order to block out the enemy from taking certain pathways. We don't necessarily need to do that because we are going to try and uh, set ourselves up so quickly that we're exactly where we want to be by the time the enemies can reach it, if that makes sense. And we are going to do that by first trying to recruit Soleil immediately. We put Leo all the way over there on the left. He's going to book it towards those berserkers, man. You know how I feel about Berserkers? I haven't really changed my opinion on that. I really just hope they don't blow me away. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. They need a crit to do it, but I can't really afford to have Percy all the way over there. Not really. No. Yeah, here we go. So I can take Mozu drop off Percy because I want somewhere for... 
Ophelia to go, basically. And I'm actually gonna give Valoria on over to Mosin. We're gonna bring Valoria because, I don't know, I feel like I actually kinda wanna use the kids a little bit. Seeing as to how they're basically the stars of the show at this point, right? So let's, uh, let's give them a little bit of limelight, I say. Not too much going on in this first turn, though. Just a bunch of movement. Usually, I'm not really a huge fan of dead turns like that, but whatever. It's not really a big deal. Leo can come over here right to this choke point, and that should be all three Zergers right there. I did give him HP and defense, and resistance for that matter, so he can take... He can take two, I want to say. Oh man, if he was just a little bit beefier. If he was just a little bit beefier. Oh well. I'm actually going to pair Elise now though because she can one round these sorcerers. I just want to stay out of range of that hero. She does need to be paired up though because if she gets dual attacked, she is very dead. Very, very dead. We'll turn those animations back on. Uh, dude, I almost called her my G. That would be wrong. She can come down here and we can get Soleil right now. I actually gave Laszlo an X because Soleil can use those in a second here once she promotes. Father, what brings you here? You alright? You alright, Soleil? <laughs> Always! I'm your daughter, after all. Nothing ever gets to me. Not even these bandits. Well, I mean... Maybe I was worried. But only, uh... Only a... Hmm. Daughter. You can call her a name. What is with these guys? None of them... You know what? Forget it. Okay, I'll admit it. This is bad. And I can't bring myself to tell my men. Soleil, I know I always said to keep on smiling. But sometimes it's fine to drop it if it feels like an act. Still, you'll have to forgive me if I smile looking at you here. You've grown into such a hero. Not yet, technically. Oh, you're right. Let me share one of my... Kill it! Ah, you know, I love the warmer weather and everything. I do not like the bugs that come with it sometimes. Jesus, man. Now, where was I? Let me share one of my secrets. If battle is turning against me, I just switch to my wife. Oh, of course! Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and I can't smile. I laugh. A lot. It really confuses the enemy. But I get the upper hand and I'm smiling again before I know it. Huh? Whoa, that's brilliant! <laughs> See? There's that smile again. An honest smile. Nothing lovelier. Ready to smile? Laugh? Hit on girls together? Whatever it takes out here to win. Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Blue team rules! Okay, so now I'm gonna give her this Steel Axe and I'm gonna pair on up. We're gonna move her over here and promote her instantly. So, speaking of Soleil. Okay, yeah, that does seem to work. <laughs> speaking of Soleil though, can anybody explain to me what the controversy with her is? Because I am not entirely sure. I understand that they should probably just say she's into girls, because let's be honest, this girl is definitely into girls if I've ever seen it. I don't know that to be true, I guess, technically. I mean, say what you want to say, game, but... My radar is going up. <laughs> Something tells me she probably is. And I know that... that it's weird to me that she, like, she's straight, but... I mean, I guess it's not weird that she's straight. I just... I don't know, man. W w what's the deal with her, though, I guess? We're gonna pick up Soul, Axe Breaker, drop Aptitude, get a whole bunch of crap. Because I've always heard that in the Japanese version she's somehow like way, way, way worse. Or like super offensive. Or maybe I have that backwards. Maybe she's supposedly super offensive in this version? I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't gotten all of her support so I honestly can't say. I can say that none of the ones that I have seen were like particularly bad or anything. What is a little bit bad is the situation I'm about to throw Valoria into. Uh, do we go for the dodges or do we go for the extra potential hit? I say we go for the extra potential hit, so Beast Dude it is. I've just realized that Valoria has a blue highlight. Okay, so that's where she gets her mother's hair from. Right there in the middle, you see that? Yeah, blue highlight from Azura. Cool, I never noticed that. Uh, we can pair these two and I can actually get Ophelia down to intercept this southern group right now, which is exactly what we're about to do. She's gonna blow all of them away, and she has a bunch of healing items, so no matter how many times she gets hit in this situation, uh, she should be basically good. Animations are, in fact, on. Okay, so now we're getting into some enemy phase stuff right here. It is kind of weird that you can't do too much with your player phase right off the bat. Oh, we can pair these guys up. Yeah, it is a little bit weird that they make you take this little bit of setup time. If I get 12% and so be it, not a whole lot I can do about that, really. 
Get erased, kid. There's one. And so many more to follow. Leo is that guy. Now, should he happen to be hit every single time? He's still gonna live. Yeah, he's still gonna live easily, in fact. I guess I did something wrong. But hey, that's even better. Should he get hit every single time, though? He can just life take her the one hero that Elise should not be killing. So, he's totally fine to engage the next group of Dark Knights as well. Of course, he does get nailed every single time. I wasn't looking for a demonstration, man. <laughs> Some people, I swear. Was that all? I can't believe he didn't die to three Berserkers head on, though. That's pretty crazy to me. So, this is a little bit sketchy on paper, but if she dodges even a single time, we're good. And there we go. So now she cannot die here. She can't even be crit, which is pretty crazy. She can crit, though. Oh, my lord. And the beautiful part about this is that Valoria is going to be getting 60% of her health back no matter what happens here because of Amaterasu in combination with better odds. So she's basically good no matter what. Ah, so this is where all my dodges went. Thank you, Valoria. Thank you, Valoria. Take all the good luck from Leo, why don't you? She might even level up here. I'm not really concerned about that because she is already more than broken enough, in my opinion. But, hey man, we gotta do what we gotta do. There we go. At least they had a chance. At least they had a chance. A small one, but it was there. About time. I'm saying about time these berserkers stop critting me on every action. <laughs> oh wow, what a good level up too. You daddy's girl. So daughter's pretty good. Daughter's pretty good. At least should be able to take these two sorcerers out though. 90% of the time. Well, 81% of the time per sorcerer. Basically. So there's one. Now all I need to do is see the other. All we need to do is see this other one go down and we are in a great spot. Because from here I can give Elise on over to Leo. I can rally up Leo's speed with Shigure. He also has some staves. Mainly the physical and med stabs in case I need to use them for something. I I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Just let me have this security. If you don't mind. Thank you. Now, of course, these guys have 0% chance against Camilla. What else is new? What else is new? <laughs> and I feel that taking the initiative here is pretty useful because I do want to try and protect those soldiers. And yeah, you can reroute them with the rubble, but... If you can't get over to these guys, bottom line, they're going to become a problem. There should be one more hero that Camilla's killing, I thought. Or did she just kill two of them so quickly that I didn't notice? She's kind of like Ophelia like that. She just murders everything in sight, so it's, it's kind of hard to keep track sometimes. You know what I mean? 69%, you say. More like zero. Oh, <laughs> You couldn't just let me have that one, Ophelia. Now, she is paired up intentionally, though, so that she can have the shield gauge. That's going to make it a lot easier to actually route this entire group with just her. She can do it. I have no doubt in my mind that she can do it. And it's one of the nice things about these whole route maps. You can do so much on enemy phase that I have more than enough time to use with Ophelia to just heal herself up rather than to have to use a dedicated healer to do it. And Seaboard did come with a concoction, and I think I actually already had one to begin with, so... We have plenty of healing items to go around. Not an issue. Not an issue at all. Now... The sorcerer is coming in from the left, though. That would be our last issue here, I want to say. You know what? Let's see Soleil right now. Yeah, look at that. Get one rounded. See, unlike Laszlo, she has some pretty decent stats. I wonder if Soleil is French for anything. Perhaps French for La Fasse. Dance for me? Uh, no, thank you. Only one per team, after all. So she takes him out, no problem. That soul already kicks in. I don't know if that's really going to change anything. I severely doubt it. Let's get into this guy's range now with Camilla. Dual club still in use. Yeah, because these guys have sorcerers paired up with them. It might be a little bit hard to see, but trust me, they're there. Just trust me on this. And Camilla's gonna be in range. She does have the dual club though, which should keep her safe. It would be very, very unlucky if she died. Especially considering that the hero will not hit her because she has Swordbreaker and a dual club. So you compare those two. I did give Dude a javelin. 
Uh, we don't want to be in your range with dude, though. Dude has such bad res still. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if she's max level, man. She has 17 res. So we'll give that with you. I maybe could have even forged dude to plus two javelin as well, and we might be killing these guys if I, like, if I, like, strength tonic both of these characters. If I, uh, if I strength tonic Sophie and dude as well, and had them both equip forged javelins, maybe we could kill these guys, but... It's not going to make too much of a difference because I'm not necessarily planning on beating this map before the reinforcements. I don't really see how I could, honestly. Doesn't seem too likely to me. Uh, Zora can take the long way around, unfortunately. She will be able to dance for Mozu on the next turn, if nothing else. Uh, with this, we're going to do exactly as I had described, pass you on over, rally on up. Get a little bit of HP back, but more importantly, we can double this guy now. Brynhilda should be the most accurate thing, as it is. 84% times 2. Even if we miss, Shigure can easily survive and take this guy out for me. So it's whatever, really. We don't miss, though, so that Excellent. does mean Life Digger, which means... We're back. <laughs> These guys do no kind of damage. They do, like... Oh, what would that be? They do 9. They do 9. So there's no way that Leo's in any danger there. Ophelia can head on down here. I'm gonna send her over to the... Uh, I'm gonna send her over and up this way though because some reinforcements should show up from there sooner or later. I don't really mind if these guys wanna get into melee with me because I have Heartseeker. And I'm gonna block one of their attacks no matter what. Yeah, I'm gonna block one of these attacks no matter what. We have plenty of healing items to go around. And this is just gonna be a massacre from where I'm standing, man. I don't see it ending any other way. Now what I could do, I suppose, is, huh, well, I didn't really plan on doing that, so I don't know if I can. I was going to say I can unpair Percy and Ophelia after this turn, which will let Percy take out the Berserkers that are going to show up from the northeast, and Ophelia could deal with the group from the southwest on that side of the map. But I don't know if Percy can even kill the Berserkers, so I don't really want to count on that. No, uh, you don't know me. I don't know you. But before I was a bandit, I was a swordsman. The best. Come on, I'll test my blade on you. Oh, I have sword breaker. Oh, shit. Nice 5 percenter. Oh, it's actually 9%. I'm sorry, don't mean to sell you short. <laughs> when will they learn? That's all I want to know. How many bosses does Camilla have to defeat before the word spreads? I guess I failed the test. I guess you did. Cool scar, though. Cool scar, though. So here comes this guy. 24%. Not really counting on it. Yeah. Even if they had both connected, it wouldn't matter because she would have lived on two. Unless I get 1%. In. We don't even get hit. Cool. That's what I wanted to see. Let's see. If this were 21... No, 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 no. I couldn't have killed this guy no matter what. Now, I did want Dude to have the Javelin, though, because I want to jip this guy, and she needs a Lance because... Well, I could have killed this guy, though, I think. Yeah, I could have killed that guy, I think. Uh, she needs the Javelin, though, because I want to jip this guy, and we also need some kind of Lance so that I can take away their Weapon Triangle. Or not Weapon Triangle, but Weapon Rank Bonus, I should say. That part is actually important because Dude gets rocked by magic. Oh, yep. Yeah. Utterly destroyed. Speaking of, Ophelia back at it again. What light is this? I thought this was supposed to be a meme. Why is this so good? <laughs> Why is Swordmaster Ophelia actually kind of legit? What happened? What happened? What happened? It says 75, Ophelia. Give the man a chance. I don't even have to use my elixir yet. My passion burns bright. I really don't, do I? Wow. And we already know what Leo's going to do to these fools. He's been doing it all game long. This is sort of the unfortunate thing, though about the magic users in this game not being particularly great. Leo's really the only amazing one. I know Ophelia too, but she's a kid and it requires you to use Odin. Not that there's anything wrong with using Odin, but he's not particularly outstanding by himself in my opinion. So when you run into a map like this, that would just, oh man, you would just love to have some good magic users here because Excellent. magic is really the only good one to range, you know. But because you can't, it definitely slows things down a little bit because Leo can't be everywhere. Leo can't be everywhere. And 
police is sort of frail at this point, even as a melee, but at least I will say this. At least she's not getting one shot by every single thing. But those days of her getting like three, four, five in KO. Oh yeah, those are gone. <laughs> those are gone. This is these are endgame level enemies. The cards are just right, but if not, then it's like, man, no way. Speaking of no way. Leo losing to these guys, am I right? So Brynhildr, no, excuse me. Brynhildr, blow him away. Get that life taker, and then they must die to me. And I'll also have a shield gauge, so this is gonna work out no matter what. Leo can then take on what I believe will be a group of berserkers coming from my neck. If anything, I should have pulled these guys north so that I could have done both at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, I could have, I could have pulled these guys north to like right here, killed them all. And then been in range to deal with the Zerkers too? Or that's that's a theory anyways. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Mozu right here. Do one of those. Dancy girl. Did anything spawn down here? No, it didn't. It really didn't. So I'm, I'm sort of tempted to try this, but... How strong is Percy? He only has... No, I don't think he can kill Berserkers with an Iron Axe. 47. Oh, man! He's one away. He's one away. I, if I would have given him a strength tonic, that would be viable. I could separate Percy, have him go this way, have Ophelia stay down there, and murk everything else. But certainly that is not what I did. Uh, there's these guys. I, I don't really like rolling these. I really don't. Huh. Now, why do you suppose... Oh, because of Heartseeker. Yeah, so we definitely want to fall back a little bit. I can say that much with certainty. Or well, I guess the slow could chip them or something. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. So if the slow is right there, we actually get some chip. And in that case, I'm just going to clear the path for dude. Honestly. Uh, we'll have Mozu in the lead still. Because she can easily fly through. She can easily fly through that entire section of woods there. And I think that some good flyers here are helpful as usual. Because there's lots of terrain that can impede your progress. I should have had her kill this guy though. Because that would leave Valoria closer to the front. And Valoria's the one that I'm really worried about here if I'm keeping it a buck. Moses is pretty alright, but let's be honest. Let's be honest here. Yeah, we can rally these two on up. Sophie can run this guy through with her lance. Probably strip this guy as well. I don't know what Sophie's about. It's weird because she's supposed to be like this fun-loving character, but she goes around stripping people. When does it get easy? Like quite literally, not 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 addressing with her eyes or anything. Nope, she's literally doing this. Shadow Yado. There we go. No chance of failure here. I might start healing up Dude with Shigure though. That seems to be a smart decision. Cause I do want Dude to be able to contribute. Obviously, she's so good. Why would I not want that? You feel me? I did it. Yes, you did, dude. Now. Yeah, I mean, this seems to be a smart decision. Yeah, it's 11 whole HP, but that does make a difference. Camilla, you gotta, you gotta get back. You, you gotta get back. Now, what I could actually do... Since these guys are both paired up, what I could do... Actually, no, that makes no sense. Because they're paired up. I was gonna say I could drop Soleil off in the back and then dual attack them, but that wouldn't work. So instead, we'll just move Camilla there. I'm just gonna heal up with Ophelia. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal up with Ophelia. Move her on over this way, I guess. Yeah, because there's gonna be some Zerkers, and I think she can handle those guys first. <sighs> it's just a little bit too weak, man. Oh! No, he's not! No, he's not! That's what I'm talking about, Laszlo. Skillfully played. Skillfully played. As you can see, though, this guy still would not have gotten a full shield gauge no matter what had happened there, so we're totally fine on that regardless. Yeah, Leo's gonna take a little bit of damage, but he's also gonna merc the last two sorcerers, so it's whatever, really. At which point, he can move on to whatever spawns in next. Pretty safely, I want to say. Oh, nice dot. He's erasing everybody today. They call this man the pencil. That was nothing. There's my A rank. Nice, nice. I think that's actually another point of might for Leo, so that's good, too. That's definitely good. Oh, yeah, there's all these guys coming in now. All those guys coming in now. Let's see. These guys are the furthest away. 
Just let's drop Ophelia right here. How smart is that? Wait, because, man, I wish I had given Percy a better axe. Or just a straight tonic. Come on. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see. So let's say Soleil kills you. Camilla moves in, kills the sorcerer. Gloria moves in, kills the berserker or something? I I don't know. No, kills the hero. Yeah, this is looking good to me. So, Soleil, my girl, with the exhilarating. This guy is hopeless, only 19%. There's that sword breaker coming through. Oh, she likes getting soul, huh? Who needs healing when you got this? Now, obviously, I would have used uh, Shigure if I needed to to bring her back. But we don't need to, because she's just going to do that herself. So, yeah, soul, pretty decent ability. Pretty decent ability. Not something you like to count on, necessarily. But when it goes off, you may as well take advantage of it, right? Oh, I could even have Dude kill this guy by just pairing Sophie with... Let's see, is 63 enough? It's actually not. Ah, but 65 is exactly enough. So that's how we're doing this. That is how we're doing this. So we'll pair these two together. Let me... Let, let me play safe. I don't need this physic for anything else. I'll, I'll heal back dude to the point she's not dying, basically. Now we pair these two. Move on through. And we should be one-shotting this guy as we do. Cool, cool. So take him out of there. Camilla can handle the Zerger. I can actually dance with uh, Azura. I can dance with Shigure. So if anybody gets hit here, I can just hit. I can heal them back, basically. Savagely blown. I mean, I can kill that guy without any kind of counterattack if I really want to. I may want to. How much does Valoria take from this guy? Not a whole lot, I should imagine. Yeah, all of 11. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Valoria should be the one to attack this guy. Camilla can then dual attack the Zerker. Right? Yeah, final answer. Let's do it. Valoria hype! This kind of thing right here is exactly why so many people think she's probably one of the best kids. Because in all seriousness, look at this. <laughs> like, look at this. She's actually tearing it up. And she's going to heal herself again if she happens to end this turn injured, I, I do believe. Because we should be going on to an odd number turn, yeah? Oh, no, we just missed it, but she was full either way, so it wouldn't make a difference. Yeah, we can kill this guy 100% safely. 100% safely. Yeah, dude is going to be getting hit, but I'm going to heal her back. Actually, it wouldn't make a difference, would it? Because she is actually... Uh, she's not going to be getting dual striked, basically. And with 17 res, this guy can't finish her. I guess I may as well bring Shigure down here. I uh, don't know where else he's going, really. We'll pick up this obstacle for some reason. No particular reason. I just think it would be fun. Now, we want to fall back with Leo. We want to fall back with Leo. Gradually pull these heroes along with us, but I want to get I want to get over to a position where I can block these Zergers from wrecking those soldiers, and we can do that. Mm, maybe. Well, I'm gonna pull them back. I'm gonna pull them back here, anyways. You can reach the choke point before it gets out of hand, and that's all that matters. Right, I never decided what I was doing with this, did I? Hmm. Am I feeling real enough for Ophelia to do this? Ooh, that is the question, though, isn't it? That's exactly where our problem is right now, isn't it? I don't really know that I am. I gotta be honest. Ophelia's the greatest. Let's do it. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, this hero had a hand axe. How precious. Oh, you see that? Two damage. That's so adorable. I just want to post that onto my wall. I want to get a picture of this and hang it on my refrigerator. That's just great. This guy, though, not so funny because he does 30. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you, Sophie. Good save. Good save. Now, this is exactly what we wanted to try and do here. We're falling back step by step. I may have to... Get really clever with this though, I've just realized. Huh. If I can kill something before I need to be in the joke, it's fine though. 
I mean, what, what, what was I supposed to do about that? Honestly, how was I supposed to predict that he would dodge a 92? I knew he was good, but in case there was any doubt about just how good he is, well, now you know. This is never going to hit. Okay, so now she's safe. Thankfully, they went with the hand axe first. It actually doesn't change anything. It just makes me feel more secure in myself. Well, actually, that's not true. It does change things slightly because that means that they're taking their more dangerous attacks second when I'll already have a shield gauge. Now, I didn't know that they would do that, but thankfully they did. My passion burns oh, I see. They were probably... Because, see, the AI likes to set up for dual attacks where it can, but obviously that was never going to work out no matter what. We do take the one hit. As you can see, though, it was unlikely that we would die in that scenario no matter what. Even with the Levin Sword penalty. Now. Can I cut these Berserkers off or what? Alright, last wave. And I am sure that that is the last wave. This is looking good to me. I can just use this elixir. And then. If I end up injured after this turn. I can use Life Taker to restore myself to the point that I can body bag those two. Now all we gotta do is three sorcerers up there. Then they can kill the hero, or the, the soldier. And yeah, as somebody pointed out on the last part, these guys are actually super buff. Their only real mistake is starting with the javelin equip, because that makes them doubleable by just about everything. But yeah, they can hold their own for a little bit, especially earlier on in the game, I should imagine. They'd still be very screwed if we don't do something about all this, though. I'm, if I move here, this does force one of them to use a hand axe, as opposed to their more accurate option. No. I can actually go back to the horse spirit. Ah, here we go. That might shift it in my favor. So Leo lives. Leo lives with the horse spirit. So we move him there. That's still in range of Mr. Handax, y'all. Yeah? Yes, it is. Okay. So Leo to this position. That should be that side solved. All I really need to do is be able to deal with these last three sorcerers, which should be a joke, I want to say. So we can just do this. Eliminate one of these issues right now. Goodbye. Mozu can kill the other. And she should be able to double back as well. Thanks to that fantastic flight utility. Uh, so they can head over to the left hand side now. Not in range of the sorcerers, but close enough to be able to take one out in the next turn. And if she can't quite get there, we can always use... Azura. Oh, she'll definitely be in range. So yeah, there you go. That's how we get stuff done. This is how we do it. And Azura should even... Yes, she is. So we're going to do one of these. Slay. Move her as close as possible. Now, let's slow. Do you still take hits from here? You actually do. How many? I'm going to say he just takes the one. So we're going to switch him over. Like that. Sure, I'll rally speed. Why not? And Camilla can go the long way because they're going to be in a position to be rocked by her no matter what happens. Yeah, they don't They don't kill. That's what I thought. Of course, they could 7%er. Okay, he's, he's fine. He's fine. The last guy can't possibly get a grip because he's going to be using the hand axe. Sweet. So, Leo the God back at it again. We already knew. We already knew. Please crit. Oh, I was kind of hoping he would get the crit just so I could see it blocked. See, that is one of the most satisfying feelings of all time. That's three erasures today, my lord. Just call him Zeno, man. Or maybe he's one of the Reapers. I don't know. <laughs> you guys ever played that game, The World Ends With You? Pretty decent game. But see, I don't even know if I should be asking that because every time I, <laughs> every time I bring up a game that is not this game, Everybody in the comments says, oh, of course we played that game. What are you, stupid, Deltray? Who had you played that game? So I don't know, man. How do I know you guys are as nerdy as I am? I mean, sure, you clicked on a Fire Emblem video, so I guess that means something, but... You know what, man? Forget it. That's looking like a GG to me, folks. I don't know. I could be missing something. It's certainly a possibility. But I'm thinking that... The conclusion here is that Ophelia is goddamn broken! <laughs> Did you see that? She said, don't worry, I got this entire side of the map by myself. Not likely to be hit. Of course, what am I saying? 
What am I saying? Of course he's likely to be hit. I forgot. Credit where credit is due, though. He did get the crit. So there's always that. No more reinforcements, though, please. Oh, Lord, why? <laughs> See, this is a route map gone too far, man, because... <sighs> okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, if you insist. I don't see what it added, though. What are we adding here? Yeah, we need to double back, like pronto, man. Like pronto, man. Oh, god dang it. Shigure can do this. He... Wh how much res does he have again? Oh, he has warding blow, of course. I was about to say. Farewell, fallen one. Oh, my lord. This dude almost gave me a heart attack. Slay can kill you. Now, see, when I looked this up, though, I was told that the reinforcement stopped on turn six. So I've been lied to, basically. We can do this, though. I should have had Camilla next to her, in fact. Yeah, because of this. But because... Let's see the crit, though. No. Huh? Nobody can die, though, I guess. I just... Man... Only makes sense to do this. Why didn't I just savage blow? Well, see, my mentality was that I didn't want Camilla to be dual attacked. Maybe a little bit silly, but with Heartseeker and all. Well, these ones didn't have Heartseeker, so I'm just bad. Okay, fair enough. So I gotta say, though, this map is very hectic. I feel like I'm running all over the place. I guess maybe that's the point. But that last wave feels a little bit excessive to me, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. Yeah, I can't. I can't really. I can't really move Leo. Not really. So now there could be trouble a brewing. I can't even pick up the rubble, so it's like, ooh, ooh, I don't like this. <laughs> no, everything's going left. We kill you. Yeah, we definitely kill you. For the old life digger, you do more damage anyways. I'm fairly sure. And if not, it wouldn't matter. The other guy has to get heart secret. And I will now be back to full, which is all that matters to me. All right, all right. That is a very underrated ability, I have to say. I don't see people making nearly as big of a deal about that as I feel, but maybe it should be, you know? Restoring half your life every time you kill something is no joke. Like I say, no matter whether we had crit the first hero or not, we would have been... Uh, we would have been killing them both right there anyways. If for some reason Soleil was super low and I needed to kill all three of those sorcerers as well, I could have used a sword to do that. Did Ophelia just lose some of her clothes? <laughs> Wait. Did I see that right? Yeah, she did. She took battle damage. Alright. I mean, I'm not necessarily opposed. Ah, see, here's where my mistake actually was. I should have switched to Elise on the previous turn. And if I wasn't so new, that's what I would have done. What's your gauge? So if I, basically, if I throw Mozu out here, she kills two, though, right? That's all I need to know. You die and you die, yeah. So. Well, do they with only 44 attack? Yes, they do. Cool. So that's exactly what we're doing. Mozu right here. She gets a gauge by the time the second guy comes through. Leo, though, not necessarily the best bet for dealing with these guys, I want to say. He just doesn't have the speed. Which means it's time we use Azura to slingshot somebody up here for a little bit of backup, I want to say, because this is going really far south. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. They're both so bad. <laughs> One is much worse than the other, but... What I would have preferred to do, obviously, is put Shigure in such a way that he would be able to pick up Azura on the next turn. But I think it would be smarter to just have him kill this guy right now so that he can be out of my hair. There's one. God, he can't even hit. Yeah, I'm thinking that Armored Blow and Warding Blow are pretty decent. Pretty decent. At least it's a nice player phase option and I can definitely appreciate that. Okay, so we can't use Shigure, but here's what we can do, I suppose. So we can move dude like there. 
drops Sophie off. Camilla comes all the way in. All the way in, man. And we should be able to deal with this, hopefully, last wave. No issue. If Leo is seeming a little bit low, I can kill something now safely, life taker, and be done with it. Right? Or am I missing something? This guy is certainly missing something. I guess I should have used Brent Hilder. Oh, speaking of missing something, why can't they hit Leo? Why is he a sword master on a horse? He's crit so many things, he's dodged so many things. This is just too much for me. Why doesn't he die? What have I missed here? I thought that, oh, weapon triangle. Yeah, Am I really losing that much from weapon triangle? Wow, that's more than I really thought. Oh, cool, we may get, uh, well, we'll get one kill for sure. We may get some chip on the second guy now at least. Mozu the Clutch. You know, I gotta say, it's pretty weird how you only get the one Reaper weapon in all of Conquest. And it's the dual glove. Because, I mean, of course it would be. Why would they not favor Camilla even more? They're like, oh, you thought she was you thought she wasn't a broken unit? You thought Mozu wasn't broken either? Well no. <laughs> but but in all seriousness, the dual club has to be there almost strictly for Camilla. Right? Other people can use it, sure, but if it wasn't for Camilla, then why is it an axe? Why is it not some other reaver? You know what I mean? The smartest thing to do here would be to have somebody who could kill the Zerkers. Kill you. I guess that would be Valoria in this case. It hurts so much. Ah, she's got she's got odd shaped active right now. So we can kill these guys with a simple beast stone. Which means that we're definitely doing this move right here. This guy is like 10 different ways of screwed, so I'm not particularly concerned about the outcome here. <laughs> If I need to, I think. Oh no. I said I wasn't concerned, now I'm a little concerned. Maybe I should kill the Zerger. Somehow. Cause if I do that, then there's like then like where's the issue, you know what I mean? Of course he has a hand axe. Of course he has a hand axe! Of course he has a hand axe! I just want the map to end, dude! Okay, so. Yeah, I just realized where I screwed that up, because I could have gotten Laszlo over to Leo. And then I could have just left Leo here and he would have killed them all. But I do need to kill this Berserker. Like that, I, I'm not rolling this on Valoria. No, 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 you can't make me. You can't make me, so we'll kill you. Theoretically. Okay, yeah, that's our that's our sequence of moves right there. So Leo kills the Zerker right now. Right now, I say. Wishing I had killed that dang old uh, sorcerer, though. That was a mistake. Leo should have definitely had the Brent Hilder, not the Horse Spirit. So we do one of those. Dude moves all the way in. Not all the way in. She moves to somewhere that Azura can dance from. Like right about there. Now we can dance for dude. She can kill the other hero in one strike, moving into his place. Oh, please, oh, please don't miss this 92. We already had 192 miss on this map, so that's our quota for the day. Thank you. Good night. Now Camilla can easily kill the last sorcerer by throwing a hand axe over dude's shoulder. Even if she wants to miss, it doesn't matter. And of course, we are getting that nice supporter boost, so... Yeah, there was really no way. There was really just no way out of it for this guy, huh? He came into the wrong neighborhood. You... Please just tell me there's no more reinforcements, though. No lie. <laughs> Feels like maybe just a little bit much. I know they said... That there would be lots of these guys coming in that intro cutscene, but you know, after a certain point, it just becomes a matter of backtracking, man. I can always count on you. But hey, what can I say? I definitely had to think on my feet a little bit to deal with that, so I guess I can't complain that much. Now, I can definitely complain if like five, six, seven. <gasps> if five, six, seven more guys had shown up right then, then I would be complaining. But that's not what happened. This guy is very dead. Good game. Fun map, though. Definitely a fun map. Got a book it in the beginning. Dude, what are you doing? I did it. Barely? Take every hand axe with your face. Still pops off. Crazy. I definitely think the big thing there is getting Soleil immediately, though, because she does not start in a great spot. As uh, many of the kids do not, I've noticed. Valoria, too, for that matter. Uh, I'm Excuse me. Daughter, too, Soleil. for that matter. She didn't start in a particularly great spot on the last map. 
and I guess that is the game's way of trying to get you to move, right? But once you do that, I don't think this map is too bad. And if you feel the need to reroute some of the enemies, you can always do that by picking up and replacing those obstacles that we saw. I, I picked up at least one, but I didn't end up using them, obviously. But I do like that it gives you the option to do things in a certain way, depending on what your team is like, and that's pretty cool. I, of course, have a lot of flyers, so the terrain here doesn't really slow me down that much. Meaning that I can get over to Soleil that much faster, making this all much easier. But if you didn't, you might want the extra time uh, that it would take for the enemies to find a new route, so to speak. So that's pretty cool. I like the way that they handled this map. It's pretty fun. Soleil, you were amazing. How much speed did you have again? Wahoo! Thanks, Father, and thanks to all your friends. I'm so happy that you came. <laughs> I'm happy that you're alive. This was no piece of cake. Um, um, if I may, we can do someone like her fighting with a smile on her face. We're always on such a grim march. She put some pep in our step. Uh, huh? Aren't I smiley enough? Yay! <laughs> I'd love to come. You have to let me, Father. You have to. Well, well, um... Once more? Once more, Laszlo. I couldn't hear you through your frown. Um, um all right. I could use some extra support on the smiley front. Hmm, who's this? Thank you. Thank you, Soleil. Our town would have our town would be a pile of rocks if you hadn't helped. Here, something to remember us oh. by. Oh my goodness. Um, um, what's with the blushing? Your pink is a rose, Soleil. Wow. Cute. Um, exactly. Hi. Um, hi. Again, did I say hi? Sorry, blanked out there. My name's Soleil, by the way. You're just too pretty for words. But I guess those are words. About you being pretty. <laughs> She's worse at this than I am. What? <laughs> hmm, am I? Let's go stargazing. Let's go stargazing, shall we? Yes. Do you want to? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to? Just the two of us? Ooh, the moves, though. Yes, I'd love to. Whoa, Whoa. really? You and me, beneath the stars. I can't wait. Hmm. Uh, Laszlo, did your girl just ask that girl out to gaze at the stars? Why, yes. Why, yes. She's got good taste in women as well as men. You got a problem with that? No. No, of course not. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> she said yes, father. See, I always told you, be honest with women. It's not a game. Just wear your heart on your sleeve. On both your sleeves. Soleil. See, it is Soleil. Yeah, what's up? She just said it. He just said it. Soleil. I guess I can look forward to more of these dating tips, eh? <laughs> I don't imagine we'll have much time for these little daughter-father chats. But you can always rely it's on me. It's true. It's true. We're at war. But I always have time for you, Soleil. <laughs> ah, what a breath of fresh air. How'd someone like you wind up with a great daughter? <laughs> what do you mean, me? You know what I meant. Yeah, yes I do. But yes, I suppose I'm fortunate to have such a delight as Soleil in my life. And you get the Draco Shield, and you get the Physics Tab, and you get the Friendship Seal. Oh, I guess you don't get the other reward. Like, after a certain point, it just gives you the best rewards, I, if that makes sense. Because I swear you could have gotten a men's staff. Hold on. Now I'm kind of... Now that's going to bother me all day for some reason. Why? I don't know, but... Ah, yes. If you clear it with only one, and one specifically, then you get the men's staff. Uh, <laughs> everything else scales with the amount of soldiers that survive. All that said, though, that is going to do it for me. So... All in all, a pretty fun map. Pretty fun map. Not too much to complain about that. And finally, guys. Finally. Just one more of these to go. Tomorrow, we're going to knock out Nina. And that's going to be it for the Fates, kids. Oh, it's been a long journey to get to this point, guys. It really is. But we're finally wrapping it up. So, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It helps me out. And I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.